What's up guys, my name is Sam with Wiki and this is going nuclear. Today I am playing here on slums and I am actually playing some sharpshooter. You can check out the going nuclear countdown at the bottom of the screen and every single class setup throughout this gameplay just to the right. Now I had a ton of fun going for this gameplay. This is something that you probably haven't seen before so I thought it would be a pretty entertaining video. Theoretically, it shouldn't be that difficult to get a nuclear in Sharpshooter because this playlist is part of the party games in Black Ops 2 and usually it is not that competitive. It's more relaxed and there are a lot of split screeners in this game type. So overall, the players in Sharpshooter are not as good as normal game types like Kill Confirmed or Domination or something like that. The thing is though, in these party games, these spawns can be pretty brutal sometimes and it is very easy to get spawn killed whether you are just spawning in and getting killed from an enemy or an enemy spawns right behind you and kills you. So spawn knowledge is a very important skill to have when playing any type of free for all game. Yes, there is a permanent radar in these party games, but as I was going for this gameplay, I noticed that I was getting killed a lot by guys spawning behind me and they killed me before they even showed up on the radar because the time between the radar blips in the minimap is about 4 seconds long in party games. So I would just suggest to stay alert and don't let the permanent UAV give you a sort of false sense of security because you can still get spawn killed very easily. Now if you've never gotten a nuclear medal before and you really want to get that cool calling card, then maybe Sharpshooter is the way to go for you. It will most likely be a lot less stressful playing Sharpshooter while going for your first nuclear just because it's such a relaxed game mode. And another good thing is that you do rank up pretty fast in Sharpshooter because of all the different challenges for the different guns and, and attachments that you're going to be using while playing Sharpshooter. However, there are a couple of things you need to watch out for. Like I already mentioned, these spawns can ruin a good streak in Sharpshooter, and you have to be able to survive what I like to call the bullshit weapons. Guns like the RPG, or the War Machine, or even the Ballistic Knife and Combat Knife. It can be very hard to stay alive when these launchers and knives come up in the rotation. And on average, these types of weapons come up about 2-3 to three times a game, so you do need to get the right circumstances to be able to go nuclear in Sharpshooter. Fortunately for me, I was able to survive through the small at the beginning of the game, as well as the Ballistic Knife, and then I actually go on a bit of a tear with the Death Machine towards the end of this video. Uh, so I do get a couple of kills from AFK guys in this gameplay. I just wanted to mention that it's kind of it's it's sort of par for the course when you're playing any of the party games in Black Ops 2 because most of the kids are just playing for fun. You will see the scoreboard at the end of this video. Uh, all the players were actually playing in this game. It's not like any guy was AFK for the entire thing. For some reason, whatever reason, they just stopped playing briefly when they spawned in. They were probably picking their nose or something, I don't know. Uh, but I was able to get a couple of easy kills, and that's probably going to be the case for any lobby. So it'd be kind of hard for me to weed out all the lobbies where I got an easy kill or two from guys just not paying attention or not playing or whatever. So the last little tip I have for you guys in Sharpshooter is really simple, kind of obvious. Just keep an eye on the next weapon timer at the top left just under the minimap there. You never want to be in a situation where you are face to face with an enemy when the next weapon is coming. Whether you're going for a nuclear or just trying to win the game, especially with the lag and lag compensation in Black Ops 2, you might end up losing that gunfight even if you're already pulling the trigger before the gun comes up. So if at all possible, you want to avoid those kinds of situations. Now back to the gameplay here, it's actually down to the last two guns and I still need 10 kills to get that nuclear medal. On top of that, I'm actually in second place right now, so the score ends up going back and forth up until the end of the game. If you didn't know, with the last gun, you get double points, so a game can either be won or lost in that last 45 seconds. Since I was already on a streak, I was getting times 2 which turned into times 4 with the last gun. Now before this game wraps up, I have a bit of a challenge for you guys. Whoever can get a nuclear medal and sharpshooter will get a shout out in the next episode of Going Nuclear. Here's the rules, pretty simple. Just put Sam in your clan tag and send me a message on YouTube with a link or a way for me to view it and the first person to do it, if any, will get a shout out in the next video. Back to the gameplay, two more kills away, there's about 30 seconds to go in the game. Not only do I need at least two kills in these last 30 seconds to get the nuclear medal, but I might even need more kills to ensure the victory. As you can see now, it's a tie game, 550 to 550. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here. I got guys coming from my right, guys in my left. I don't really know where they're going to be coming from. 
I pick off this guy right here, and now there's only one kill left. I managed to get this guy in the back to get the nuclear medal, but I'm still just barely up in the victory, so I get one more kill here to ensure the victory. I end up winning by 60 points there, and I end up finishing the game 31-0, getting the nuclear medal, getting the victory. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you blow up that like button if you did enjoy, and check out my channel in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Autobots. Roll out.